Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make teams in Roblox Studio. So for starters we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open we want to head to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties. Now that we've enabled Explorer and Properties we want to go to the top bar here, click on Model and we want to head over to Insert Object. If you do not already have the Teams file or folder in your Explorer you want to go up to insert object, click on insert object and find teams. You can scroll down, try find teams, or you can just search it up here. So you can search up team. You want to then click on team and it will sp should spawn here and here. Now that we've created our teams, we want to head over to the teams area here. Click on the plus button next to team and insert a team. We want to insert however many teams you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to be making three teams. So let's go and rename these. You want to rename these to what you want the team to be called in the game. So let's say you want it to be the red team or the blue team. Or let's say you want it to be the owner team, the co-owner team, the moderator team, the member team, something like so that. So now that we've inserted the teams into the teams file, we now want to go and rename them. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing it as owner. So this is going to be the owner team. This is going to be the admin team and this will be the member team. This is completely up to you what you decide to do, but this is for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be doing owner, admin, and member team. Now that we've renamed the teams, we wanna head over to Explorer and find our workspace, and then we wanna click the plus button next to our workspace and insert a script. You then wanna remove all the previous code that is in the script, and then you wanna go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio, then paste in the code. So now that you've inserted the code into the script, we now want to go and change a couple of things. So for starters, we're going to want to change this old ID to our group ID. So to find your Roblox group ID, all you want to do is go to your Roblox group. Then you want to go to the top link, copy the big bunch of numbers that are in the link, copy that and take that back to Roblox Studio. Now that we've copied our Roblox group ID, we want to take, bring it back to the script, remove the previous ID up here. In between the brackets, we want to remove it and paste in our new ID. We are also then wanting to go and adjust a couple of things. So because this determines if you're in the Roblox group or not, if you are in the Roblox group, you will be put into these team names. So basically what this does is, as you guys remember, earlier we made these teams here. We need to now go and insert these names of the teams into where it says team So name. now that we've inserted the group ID into the script, we want to now head over to our Roblox group again and go into the settings of our Roblox group. We then want to go into the owner area or the leader role of the group where we're able to adjust the settings and adjust the title, adjust the description and whatever. As you guys can see, we have a rank of 255, basically meaning we have the max rank, okay? And depending on what rank you have, you want to change that to the script. So as you guys can see, we have the owner and we have a rank of 255. In the script here, it says if group rank is higher or equal to 255, then they will be given that group name. So as you guys can see, because our rank is 255 as the owner, we will be given the owner team name. Same thing here. Let's say you have a co-owner. Okay. You want to go down here and you want to change see their rank then you want to change whatever this rank is in the script so let's say they have a rank of 100 you want to change this to 100 but for this tutorial we're going to be doing 254 and then depending on what that uh, group rank is will determine their team name so here let's say we want to change this to admin so if the, that person is rank or if this person has the Barry role in the Roblox group and has the rank of two, 254, they will be given the admin team name. Same with here. If the group rank is above or equal to zero, then their team name will be uh, changed. Uh, their team name will be, for example, member. So if we go down here, member, we will be able to see that the rank is one. So basically meaning it is above than zero, but it is not equal to zero. So basically, now, anyone who has got the member role in the Discord server will be given the member team name. Just like that. 
because they have above or equal to zero. And because the member is above than the zero, they will be given the member role. So once you've finished adjusting the group rank and the team name, we want to go up here and close the script now that we have finished editing it. And then we want to head back to Explorer and go click on Teams. Now, let's say you want your teams to have different colors, okay, when you load into the game and on the side of the screen. So for example, owner, we want to go down to the properties and change the team color to, let's say, a yellow. And for the admin, we can change it to a, a light blue, something like that. And then for the member, we can change it to a really red. So now if we go and test it out, the owner, admin and member will all show up here. So let's go and click on file and then publish to Roblox. So let's go test it out. As you guys can see, I've just loaded into the game. And as you guys can see, because we are the owner in that Roblox group, we are given the owner team name and we are in the owner team area and as you can see we've also got the admin and member so let's say if we had a admin of the game or admin that is in the roblox group join into the game their name will pop up there and let's say if we just have an ordinary member of the roblox group their name will pop up here if you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing feel free to send me a message on discord and i'll happily help you out but anyway guys i'm gonna wrap up the video here if you did enjoy i'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel i really appreciate it but anyway, guys, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.